Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my first look miniseries coverage of Aurora Dusk Steam Age. It is by Sylvain Harlout. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name, and I do apologize for that, but it did release to Steam Early Access. It is currently in Steam Early Access, but it released on April 29th, 2016. So, there you have it, folks. It's been in Steam Early Access for a little bit over a month, about a month and a half or so, and... I gotta say, I was playing around with it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think the game's got a lot of potential. I haven't actually dove into a skirmish or a custom survival battle just yet. I've been playing around with the adventure campaign stuff, and I think we're gonna hop in and we're gonna play a little bit of that today. I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna do, guys and gals, but it should be fun, nonetheless. So let us begin! I'm gonna go back to the prologue and continue on from where we're at. So I played through the first five or, well, I guess five and a half, something like that. Levels, and there we are, Bumpy McSquigums. Alright, so we are going to, I guess, change our character. We're going to create a new character. Create a character. We're going to be called Bumpy McSquigums Esquire. There we are, yeah, that's right, Bumpy McSquigums Esquire. Alright, and we can choose multiple different races. We can be an, a human, an elf, a half-elf, a dwarf, a feline, a colossus, or a dark elf. And they all have various different stats. As you can see here with the elf, we are less healthy. We have the same amount of stamina, more mana, same attack, attack, blah, 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 less strength, less endurance, more address. I don't know what address does, but it's there. It's a thing. And we have skill modifiers as well. Bows, firearms, forestry, lithology, eh, prospecting, zoology. I mean, stuff, right? Stuff. And then we can actually specialize in various other millions of different things. So as you can see, there's actually quite a bit here. Now, I believe when you do the skirmish game or a custom world, you get to control all the characters. I'm not sure yet, guys and gals. But we're going to play around with this quite a bit and see what all the game has to offer. I'm looking forward to this thing coming full circle, coming out of a Steam Early Access, and seeing what the full game has to offer. But for now, we are stuck where we're stuck. Actually, we get to be a part of the uh, creation process and feedback and all that wonderful fun stuff. So I am looking forward to it. Alright, we're healthier, we have more stamina, less mana, so on and so forth. I'll probably just go the basic simple human so you guys can be all like, Oh, you picked a boring one. Yeah, I did. And since I'm crazy, I like to be an axe fighter, so it's simple. But we'll take a quick peek through what we have here. An axes fighter, a belts adept, a bowman, a chaos mage, a clothes adept, a conjurer, a crossbowman, dagger fighter, druid fencer, gloves adept, heavy armors adept, uh, horseman, jewelry adept, light armors adept, mace fighter, magic clothes, medium armors, necromancer, pyrotechnic, uh, redemptive and repressive mages, rifleman, shaman, shields, shoes, spears, uh, throwing weapons, and tools. Those are our choices. I, of course, am going to go with an ox foita. That is going to be the skill that I choose. So it would actually probably make more sense if I went dwarf. I know, I, I've, I have forsaken many of our dwarven peoples, so I'm probably just going to go with the dwarf this time around, guys and gals. Plus it gives me more love to the axes. So there we are. That is going to be what it is. Dwarves are half men. Yeah, they are. And we could be one of any of these millions of different uh, classes or careers. So I'll start from the top and quickly go through them. Apothecary Armor Forger. Baker, a uh, bow crafter, or that would be what? A fletcher, I believe? A breeder, a builder, a butcher, a crossbows forger, because. Is, wouldn't that still be a fletcher? I'm not sure. A dressmaker, an enchanter, a farmer, a firearms forger, a forester, a fortification builder, a gemologist, a geologist, a golemologist, sure. A harvester, a hunter, a jeweler. Leather goods craftsman, uh, manufacturer of alcohols, wouldn't that be a brewer, I guess, I don't know, metal founder, a military recruiter, a miner, a paper producer, a pet trainer, a picker, a prospector, a repairer, a sawyer, or sawyer, I don't, eh. a sculptor, a sheep shearer, a shoemaker, a stone cutter, tanner, tool forger, trader, weapons forger, weaver, woodcutter, or zoologist. Alright. Well... Since we're a dwarf, I'm going to go with woodcutter. I don't think there's a lot of woodcutting dwarves, but I'm going to be the first ever. Probably not, but we're going to do that. 
All right, we are male. Last I checked, we're Bumpy McSquigums Esquire. We're gonna go to customize our appearance. There's not a lot of body choices here right now. I'm assuming that that will change as time advances. We have a few different eye types we can choose. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the angry eye. I don't know if they're angry eyes. We have shoes and we can change the color. We're gonna have black shoes. Our clothing, we can be, we're gonna go with this because we look cool and I like it. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with these blue things here. Maybe. Actually, I'm gonna, ooh, look at that blue. I'm gonna go with, yeah, I'm gonna go with this blue. That looks pretty sweet. I'm gonna go with a leather belt. So yeah, something like that. And then we have hairs. Hairs. And we have a few different colors. Not as many as we do for the rest of it. I'm gonna go with the dark bluish hair. I like it. So there we go. You know what? I'm gonna go with this green. Oh gosh, that green's hideous. That is not the green. Oh gosh, look at that color. Okay, hold on. We'll go with that green. Can we get our shoes to be darker? No. How about getting like super black? There we go. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna roll with that. It makes us look dumpy and fat though. Hmm. Eh, okay, that, that, uh, that'll work for me. Alright. And we're gonna validate our appearance, and we're gonna validate our character. We are ready. We have all these skills. We have alcohols, armor forging, axes, bakery, blunt weapons, bows, breeding, farming, firearms, firearm forging, forestry, gemology, gold smithery, uh, harvesting, hunting, metal smithing, or smelting, sorry, uh, mining, picking, prospecting, pyrotechnic, pyrotechnic and redemptive magic, uh, tanning, weapon forging, and zoology. Those are the skills that we have, and we are going to go and validate and start it off with the prologue. You make... Now, the English is a little bit off, guys and gals. I assume this is going to change as we get closer and closer to release. So, please be aware of that and be gentle. I'm also going to change the options a little bit here. I'm going to go with the audio. I feel like the music is still a little bit louder than I want. We're going to go with, like, 10%. Validate that. Alright, so you make a strange dream. Without understanding, you are in the middle of the city of Aurora. It is stormed by dusk hordes, made countless monsters and... Maybe many countless monsters, and determined to destroy the city. You do not have fear. You wear a golden armor and have extraordinary weapons. This mission is imaginary. You don't gain any experience for it. Well, let us gain experience through playing for ourselves. All right, Bumpy McSquigums, Esquire. I will not let the city of Aurora fall. I will do everything to make this dream from becoming a reality. Okay. All right, and we get to control our deer here. And somewhere there should be a horse. I found it last time I did this. Oh, there's a horse. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to saddle the horse. And it is going to be glorious. So if you guys are wondering what's happening right now, I'll scroll down to the bottom. We are being assaulted by 487 people to come murder us right now. Getting on the horse right now, maybe not the best plan of action. But it's it's a plan of action, and it's the one that I'm choosing to do at this particular moment. So as we walk on down here, we will eventually be able to saddle the horse. It's going to take us some time, but it's going to give us extra movement. And a lot of what this game comes down to is being able to move and avoid things and do things. So, we have done it. We have saddled the horse. We are going to head on down here and we are going to dodge and dive and dip and duck and try to avoid death. The city is, as you can tell, being assaulted by many, many horrible things. We're going to actually come outside the city walls here. I hope I didn't just drown my horse. I didn't. And we're going to start laying into the enemy from the side because why not? Mostly because we're amazing, that's why. Alright, so we have cast many spells, we just got shot with an arrow. There is some sort of horrible spider coming after me, I'm going to murder it and whatever else is there. We continue blasting fools, and there we are. We're trading blows with the guy down there, and I believe we are winning. Albeit slowly and slightly. Going to attack some more. And they have broken through the wall on the left here. We're going to take a zoom out, and they're destroying our towers. But we're still holding strong. We've killed down from 400 and whatever down to 358. So we're slowly murdering. The, the Reaper is coming. He is not a happy individual, or so it seems. We continue to kite and then come back in. 
Now the game is all about building up stuff. It's kind of like an RTS game, but, well, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's hard to really describe or pigeonhole this game because it's got quite a few different mechanics that I haven't seen much of in other games. Like I said, it's got stuff from RTS games, it's got stuff from uh, survival games, it's just got a whole bunch of different things that it draws from, and I gotta say, so far the product that I've played and I've enjoyed, I have enjoyed it, and it's actually been quite fun. There are Minotaur over to my left, I should probably kill some of these. They look like they are gonna be quite nasty, and we are out of mana. That is unpleasant, and not something that we wanted to see happen. But it is what it is. We're gonna continue to blast as they slowly trudge up here and try to destroy the town. We're gonna continue to attack. And let loose some volley after volley of horrible spells that are going to murder many people. Um, I'm hoping that we're continuing to chug stuff. We're down to 264 enemies that remain. And apparently we have seen this in some sort of dream. So now our goal is to get to this city and help protect it. Help keep this dream from becoming a reality. That is the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream, as it were. Alright, we're murdering stuff there. You see all these things that are being planted? These are all things that we're able to do later on down the line. Okay, we're going to come down here, I guess. And I'm actually going to charge into this. I'm going to grab up some stuff, and now I'm going to turn in an attack. We're going to take a peek. What are we doing here? A little bit of damage. We ate a couple of arrows there. That was a bit unpleasant. We're going to continue to back up. We have food and all sorts of other various things that are keeping us going, which is excellent. We come down here, grab up a whole bunch of building materials. We don't need any of that right now. And we are going to continue our attack. 187 remain. But do not fret, for I, the horse-born one... Or we're not really born of a horse or anything like that. But we are on horseback, we are mounted, and we are trying our best to save this village, or this city as it were, and I gotta say, things are looking a bit bad and rough for us right now. It is not looking like we will be surviving this, but I have my hopes, I have my dreams, that indeed one day we shall have victory. Also many arrows shooting us in the spine, it's probably not great. Attack! What are those? I don't even know what those things are. Alright, looks like there's a big dude over there, an ogre, that we should probably go and deal with at some point. We still have a couple of towers standing. There's only 154 people remaining to fight, and our allies have dwindled down to 24. I believe we had 40-something at the beginning. Alright, we're about to take out this archer, and then we'll be able to get into the bulk of the nasty. We're going to come down here and snag up all of this. There are ghosts running around, and no shrines are up for us to actually help, apparently. Or revive at. So if I go down, which is very possible I may do right here, must be cautious with my maneuvers and timing. But it is very possible that we could fall, and if we do, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I feel like overall I have a better understanding and idea of what I'm doing, but I feel like this is going far worse than the last time I did this, which is a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie. Alright, well, they are continually attacking. We now have a monk over here doing monk-type things. If they would just build a shrine or something. Oh, there's a minotaur up there. I probably should go deal with that guy. Take him out of the fight. Come face me, minotaur, if you have the power, if you have the, I don't know, wherewithal, the strength, the intestinal fortitude, the guts, whatever you want to call it. Come face me. And meet your end at the end of my magical bolts of doom. I don't feel like I'm a dwarven axe fighter right now. I feel like I'm a human magician on the back. I'm like Gandalf over here. Running around being like, you shall not pass. But it's not working because many people have gotten past. It's not great. It's not ideal. Please fall, Minotarian. Please fall. I would like to kill... No, I don't want to shear the sheep. I just want to kill that guy. All right. You and me, Minotaur. You and I. We shall face one another in mortal combat. And only one of us shall walk out alive. I'm hoping it's me. Well, maybe two of us. Me and my horse. 
All right, well, we shall come back down here. We're down under the triple digits now. 98 remain. Soon to be 97, if you know what I mean. If we can ever kill this guy. He is really tanky and difficult to murder. Not gonna lie, I think I'm just gonna man up and try to end him. That's right, face me. Then face me. Show me the true power of hope with your own hands. All right, what do you got? What do you got? I have used up all my arrows. That's probably bad for you. Quick, mount the horse. Ride like the wind, Binky. That's right, you stand no chance against me. The stunties are gonna do the deed. All right, we're down to 74. Our towers are still crumbling slowly. It's not going well for our, our peeps. But it's also not going horribly awful either. Like, it's okay right now. All right, let's go deal with the folks that are a little bit more deeply entrenched in the town, like these guys over here, and then we'll go back to the big mass of the dudes and see where that takes us. That's a one and done there. A couple more shots, and that guy's out of the fight, and his compatriot is also out of the fight. Looks like arrows are flying in my general direction. Ow, that one hurt a little bit. We shall come down here and face the archer toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or cross the field while we lob projectiles at one another. And I have a helper. She is a genie, for those of you scoring at home. Oh, we have a whole bunch of undead up over here. That's not cool. We're down to 43 remaining. That's kind of cool. Alright. The attack is real. And 35 remaining. There's still a whole bunch of people down here taking out our towers. So if they are continually distracted by this, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Dude, stop chopping the tree, man. It's not worth it. We don't need the wood that badly. There's wood laying on the ground along with a lot of blocks. Go build something. Be useful. Hey, there's a redemptive altar over there. I wonder what that does. Look over here and check it out. Tell me, redemptive altar, what is it that you provide? Apparently nothing. It provides nothing. I was a fool. No, don't build right there, dude. What are you doing? You're wearing pink, too. What's wrong with you? Alright, more attacking, more killing. I feel like we're doing pretty good here. We're down to the last 21, guys and gals. So I guess this first one is just to get you an idea of how to maneuver around, how to avoid damage, how to keep yourself alive in a fight, and how to, well, just get used to the controls of the game. It's pretty simplistic. You move around by left-clicking everywhere. You can either press A or click on this to attack the nearest enemy, or you can specifically target an enemy that you wish to attack, like, say, this ogre over here. you got to move closer to it, and then once you attack, he stays on that target until he either dies or you die. So we're going to go for the ogre right now. We're doing some significant damage to him. There's three ogres that remain, though. The tower is still alive and kicking. Alright, and now we're going for the next ogre. And we're down to six enemies remaining. So they're all in this little pile of stuff. Hey, somebody mounted the other horse. That's good. There's still a horse over there that's a little bit more wounded than we might want. But still alive. Alright, we're down to the final two. The mummy and the ogre. We have slain the ogre, we have slain the mummy, and it's time for the next mission, folks. We have fought off the Dusk Hordes. Alright, now, the official start of the game. Scouts have discovered that the fearsome Dusk Hordes come together and headed towards, uh, towards the east. You have volunteered to protect Aurora City from this invasion. During your trip, you go through the Darkwood Forest, but this step is longer than expected, and you will rest up one night in this grim forest. Let us begin. Alright. Damn, this forest is endless. I will never pass through before nightfall. Yeah, young dwarf. What are you doing alone in this forest? Hi, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, Esquire, and I have to go as fast as possible to the Aurora City, but this forest is larger than I thought. Yeah, Bumpy McSquiggums Esquire. I am Kalzahire, or Kalzahire, Sharanelza. I'm never going to be able to say that name correctly, and I apologize, folks. I do. 
You are still very far from the edge. Monsters swarm in these woods. As you walk around like this without a weapon, you won't go far. I will show you how to make rudimentary weapons. You need to gather wood from trees. For me, I already have claws. For gathering wood, select a tree. Your character will approach and automatically cut wood until you get the required amount. Gather wood from a tree. All right, so I'm going to left click on the tree, walked over, chopped down some or chopped the tree up a bunch and got some wood out of it. New! With wood, you can build a workshop and make weapons. I'll explain how it works. Click the bottom right anvil button and select the workshop you wish. It will be automatically installed where is free. So wherever you have room, it will be installed there. So I'm going to move over here because I don't want it to be right where it said it was going to be. And boom, hunting camp being built right there. And kerblam. With this workshop, you can manufacture a blowgun and dots. Check. You have enough wood. Select the workshop on the field and choose the object you want. After some time, this object will be added to your inventory. Oh, I'm going to go chop down some more trees. Chappity dappity dap 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 dap. We're going to need, I don't know, probably a bunch of wood throughout the course of this, but eh, we'll just keep chopping trees down until this one's totally gone. And then we're going to come back over here and we're going to craft ourselves the item that is supposed to be crafted. The blow dart, the blow gun, and some darts. Alright, we did the darts, now we're going to do the gun. And this, ooh, you're ready to face the dangers of the forest. Hey, I heard that Aurora restaurants are famous for their finest cooking. Do you mind if I go with you? I can continue to give you a paw. Of course, Cal's a higher. Together, our chances to reach Aurora will be better. You are careful. I hear approaching monsters. You have to use your blowgun. I hope you still have enough breath. Select an enemy on the screen or press the attack button at the bottom left. It allows you to automatically attack the nearest enemy. Or you can press A. It does the same thing. Uh, dusk hordes are approaching from the west. I'm going to chop some more tree down here while I can. I'm going to come over here and grab this bush too. And maybe a few uh, shrooms. Alright. Well, the attack is real. We're going to let it go. There's two of them versus two of us. We apparently missed because we're bad at aiming, I guess. And they're going right for our cat girl here. She's trying to claw back, but it's not going well. She's going to have to retreat like a scared little pixie girl. It's okay. We will allow her to do this. And now we shall run down in our dwarven fashion and attack the skeleton. Ever closer. Run like the wind, Binky! One more shot and he is down. Oh, she might be in a, a little bit of a, a pickle, as they say. Is she gonna get killed here? Oh, we defeated them before she died because we're awesome like that. And on to the next mission. Alright, after this mission, guys and gals, I will be breaking off of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed up to this point, but let's continue before we do the outro. Your supplies have exhausted faster than expected. You have to hunt to resupply. Fortunately, you cross a forest inhabited by deer. Alright, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm even starving. Okay, okay, you can take some of the fruits in my bag. No, I can't. I've already emptied your provisions. What? But how many meals do you eat up in a day? No, I don't really have meals. To make it simple, I'd rather give names to periods of the day when I do not eat. Okay, stop. We will stay here for a moment and resupply our provisions. Great, you can go hunting some you can go hunt some deers while I prepare a fire. To avoid waste, I will also show you how to tan animal skin. You have to attack and kill a deer. On its carcass you can get meat and skins with wood you can cook meat in the hunter's camp. Sweet. Die, deer. Fear me. So we're going to try to murder this deer. It's going to take us a little bit of time, but that's okay. Why? Because we're super awesome like that. We totally missed that shot. It says that we need to build a workshop. I feel like she's already built the workshop. But we're going to come over here and we're going to decarcassize the deer. It's going to be glorious. I'm going to crack a couple of knuckles here while we're, we're doing this. And as we get through the deer, there it is, I guess we have to build ourselves a workshop, or maybe a, a tannery will be what we need. 
I'll build it up over here next to the rest of the stuff. The tannery has been built, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go get ourselves some uh, tree stuffs. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to craft myself some leather pieces to get myself fur shoes and a fur coat. Because these are pieces of armor, believe it or not. Alright, and a little bit more leather, and there's the shoes. And I suppose we can go cook ourselves some meat. If we were so inclined. I'm going to murder a rabbit because it's right there and I wanted to do it, so... There you have it, and look at that. Bam, we got one more meat and one more hide. Alright, while we're here, we're going to come over here, we're going to do three darts. Okay, 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 settle down. We're going to craft ourselves a hat. So that's now on us. If we click over here, we'll get to actually see... Is it there? Oh, it's here. In our, into our inventory. See how many darts we have, and we have all these various different pieces of equipment, which is pretty nice. And we're going to click over here on the hunting camp, and we're going to cook ourselves up some meat. We could also craft ourselves a club if we wanted. I feel like the club might not do as much damage. It's actually not bad. I think I may actually craft myself a club. I've never crafted a club before, so there we go. We have crafted one. And we are going to cook some meals. We're going to go take a peek. Is it in our inventory automatically? No, we'd have to swap out. To eat provisions, you can press it in your inventory and select Use, or you just press on your red energy gauge at the top left of the screen. You'll see it up here in a minute, guys and gals. Holding down on your energy gauge will enable or disable the auto mode. Your character will automatically consume his provisions. Oh. Now, uh, on this tree, a guy left a message. There are forester pictograms. Hmm, I can read them. It says, careful, fire attracting undi... I believe it is a bad sign. No, you're right. He misspelled the last symbol. I'll correct it. I must interrupt you. We should rather worry about monsters which are attracted by your fire. Alright, I'm curious. I want to try the club. I've never tried the club. It's probably going to be a bad idea, but let's see. We have 22 seconds before bad Juju Magumbo happens. You can left click up there and then you can actually hold it. And I have turned off auto uh, fill. I'm going to turn it back on because I'd rather have it. Let me go see if I can't beat down a deer with a club. That sounds like a good idea. Get whacked! That sounds creepy, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, well, I'm going to keep murdering this deer if I can. Bam, deer is down. We're going to snag up some shrooms. And the mushrooms come into play in the next episode or dose. I have too many darts. Well, that sounds like a first world problem to me. Hey, hey, you destroyed my tannery, man. I wasn't done with that. All right, we're going to go try. We're going to try to murder these guys straight up clubbing style here. Well, we're kind of winning. Okay, now it's now it's starting to look bad again. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to reopen our inventory. We're going to equip our blowgun, and we are going to pew pew shoot at the bad guys over there. And it is going to be glorious. One of the cool things is they are no longer attacking us. Or, sorry, our, our cat girl. They're attacking us instead. I'm going to grab some medicinal plants here, and I'm hoping that that will actually heal me up a little bit. And it did. I'm going to spew a couple of darts into your face. And a few more into you. And then we'll be looking pretty solid, I'd have to say. And let's see. One more there. And good day, sir. All right, now you can continue to do a few things when you're in this stage of the game. Like, if you don't click on this stuff right here, you can still go and harvest some other things. We gain level one into or one level into shoes and clothing and picking and all sorts of other various stuff. You can stay on the map and continue to go around and gather up various different things. I'm choosing just to do this while this is still open. I'm going to hit next mission and we're going to go from there. If you guys like what you see and you guys want to do more stuff like this, you want to grab the game for yourself more information about the game, the developer, any of that wonderful fun stuff, I'll have it all down below in the description of the video. I find the game to be quite enjoyable, a lot of fun, and I am looking forward to doing a little bit more coverage of this and seeing what they they come up with, what the uh, final game is going to be like. I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked, ladies and gentlemen. 
Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I guess I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs> <laughs>